Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today's October 17th, 2016. And everything we always knew about shadow government, the deep state, it's coming out. One world government, it's all coming out. Report out of CNBC. Are they trying to normalize this to get us to accept it? They have to uncloak from the shadow government before... They can have one world government to implement one world government policies in U.S. sovereignty and sovereignty of every country to have one world government. But now it's coming out of the shadows. Report out of CNBC. New FBI release on Clinton email probe refers to shadow government. So I guess... The conspiracy theorists were right all along. There is a shadow government. A new trove of interview summaries and notes from the FBI's investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails lays out a series of allegations that could prove fodder for future attacks on the Democratic presidential nominee. The 100 pages released Monday morning include claims that Clinton blatantly disregarded protocol. Other claims include that a group of powerful State Department employees attempted to coordinate a document release and that a department official asked for a quid pro quo related to the former Secretary of State's emails. Total fraud and corruption racketeering. Indict them all. The documents, part four of four, to be released by the FBI include notes and interview summaries that may illuminate more about the Bureau's decision not to recommend Clinton be prosecuted for her actions. Many Republicans have criticized that decision, but FBI Director James Comey has repeatedly insisted the move was apolitical. I want the American people to know we really did this the right way. You can disagree with us, but you cannot fairly say we did it in any kind of political way, Comey said in July. We don't carry water for anybody. We were trying to do what the right thing is. If you believe that, then there's a bridge in Arizona to sell you. Continuing. One revelation in the documents came from an interview with an unidentified person who suggested that Freedom of Information Act requests related to Clinton went through a group sometimes called the Shadow Government or the Deep State. There was a powerful group of very high-ranking state officials that some referred to as the Seventh Floor Group or the Shadow Government. This group met every Wednesday afternoon to discuss the foyer process, congressional records, and everything Clinton-related to foyer, foyer, Freedom of Information Act, congressional inquiries, the FBI's interview summary said. That group, according to the summary, argued for a Clinton document release to be conducted all at once for coordination purposes instead of an on instead of on a rolling basis as would normally be the case but the shadow government did not get its way and the agency in charge decided for a rolling release the FBI summary said wow the FBI is fighting back against the shadow government really 
Another claim from the documents is that one unidentified interviewee said Under Secretary of State Patrick Kennedy pressured the FBI to unclassify certain emails from Clinton's private server that were previously deemed classified. The interviewee said Kennedy contacted the FBI to ask for the change in classification in exchange for a quid pro quo. A representative for the State Department categorically denied that claim. This allegation is inaccurate and does not align with the facts. To be clear, the State Department did upgrade the document at the request of the FBI when we released it back in May 2015, State Department Deputy Spokesman Mark Toner said. But that doesn't mean that it wasn't asked for and it doesn't mean there was a wink and a nod behind the scenes. Under Secretary Kennedy sought to understand the FBI's process for withholding certain information from public release, Toner added. As has been reported, there have been discussions within the interagency on issues of classification. Classification is an art, not a science, and individuals with classification authority sometimes have different views. There can be applicable applicable. FOIA exemptions that are based on both classified and unclassified rules. The FBI also denied such a quid pro quo, offering NBC News the following statement. I'm not going to read that statement. Continuing, they're denying that there was a quid pro quo. Separately, one claim from the FBI documents that was receiving attention online was that one interview E said there was a stark difference between Clinton's obedience to security and diplomatic protocols and that of former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Clinton, the interviewer, interviewee said, blatantly disregarded such protocols, including her frequent refusal to attend foreign diplomat, diplomatic functions with the local ambassador. This frequency resulted in complaints by ambassadors who were insulted and embarrassed by this breach of protocol. The interview summary said, adding that the subject claimed that Clinton's protocol breaches were well known throughout diplomatic security and were abundant. Well, she didn't give a damn about Ambassador Stevens in Benghazi. That's for sure. We know that. 100%. And she doesn't give a damn about U.S. national security. She gives a damn about herself. Complete criminal scum that needs to be in prison. Indict Hillary Clinton. Continuing. Continuing. Sorry about that. Well, there you have it. New FBI release on Clinton email probe refers to shadow government or the deep state or what do they call it here? They call it the the seventh floor group. So there you have it. There is a shadow government. There is a deep state. There is a seventh floor group who approves Freedom of Information Act requests. Total felony times Infinity, who knows how many FOIA requests that they've censored and denied. Unbelievable. Do your own research about the shadow government, about the deep state, about the seventh floor group, about one world government, about why Hillary Clinton needs to be in prison for espionage against this country, for infinite felonies. Truly disgusting. Do your own research, subscribe to this channel, speak out, and take action.